David. Father. What were you doing? Nothing. Yes, you were. You looked like you were reaching for something. No, I wasn't. Honest. What are you doing out here at this hour? Answer me, David. Well, I got mad at Maggie. When? Oh, I think an hour. What were you doing up so late? I wasn't tired. I tried to tell Maggie that, but she wanted me to go back up to my room. So you got angry with her and, and ran away from her. What made you come to here, of all places? Well, I, I needed some place to hide, and I didn't, I didn't think that she would come and look here. Well, if you were looking for a place to hide, you, you could have gone to Chris's cottage, or, or the West Wing, or, or you could have gone to the old house, couldn't you? Well, I knew that she'd look in all those places. Then what made you think to come here? She just wouldn't find me. See. Well, I found you here once before, if you will remember. Yes, I remember. And you can see for yourself there's really no place here to hide. Yes, that's right. Well, then, or were you planning to open the secret room? I don't know what you mean. When I came in here, you were about to open the secret room, weren't you? Why? I heard a noise in there. A noise? Yes. It sounded like an animal was trapped in there, Barnabas. Now, how could an animal get in there? I don't know. Do you hear the noise now? No. Guess it stopped when you came in. Isn't it just possible that that you were afraid, and that you really didn't hear a noise at all. Yes, it is. Come, David. I'm going to take you back home. when this change occurs. Margaret, it's like David is nothing more than just a, an empty shell. It's like all the good things about David are, are completely smothered under a cold, unfeeling, sinister personality. Was he like this earlier this evening when he argued with you? Yes. Barnabas, what do you think is happening to him? Do you know? I'm afraid I don't, Maggie, but I'm going to do my best to find out. But in the meantime, try to be patient and understanding with them. And above all, please don't be frightened. 
Barnaby. Now, I know that David had Vicky to look after him for a, a long time. And I know how fond he was of her. Do you think it's possible that the trouble we're having with David right now is something to do with his inability to accept me? No, of course not. It has nothing to do with you, Maggie. Now, I think you ought to go upstairs and get some rest. You look like you need it. Yes, I do. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh...